This ancient Egyptian pharaoh could be the first documented giant, evidence suggests. According to a study, the purpose remains the purported remains of San Kat, an ancient Egyptian pharaoh, could potentially be the most ancient documented instance of a gigantic human. The ancient Egyptian civilization has always been a source of wonder and fascination for people all over the world, from their incredible pyramids and temples to their mysterious hieroglyphs. There's always something new to discover about this ancient civilization, but a new study has just uncovered some remarkable information about one of the most famous pharaohs of ancient Egypt. Researchers believe that the supposed remains of Sanakt may be the oldest known human giant. Myths abound with stories of giants, from the frost and fire giants of Norse legends to the titans who warred with the gods in ancient Greek mythology. However, giants are more than just myth. Accelerated and excessive growth, a condition known as gigantism, can occur when the body generates too much growth hormone. This usually occurs because of a tumor on the pituitary gland of the brain. In continuation, their investigation study on mummies, scientists have explored the remains of a skeleton discovered in 1901 within a tomb situated near the Bait Caliph in Egypt from previous research carried out. Estimations have placed the age of these bones back to the third dynasty of Egypt, which occurred approximately around 2700 BC. Prior work suggests that the skeleton of a man who would have stood up to six feet 1.6 inches, that's almost two meters tall, may have belonged to San Kat, the pharaoh during the third dynasty. Previous research on ancient mummies, Egyptian mummies, suggests the average height for men around that time was five feet six inches tall, said study co-author Michael Habich, an Egyptologist, University of Zurich Institute of Evolutionary Medicine. Now, I've, I know that I was once, um, when we were touring, when we used to live in Canada, we went for vacation in the United States, we went to Boston, and we saw a copy of the Mayflower ship that brought the pilgrims to America. The Mayflower ship was built on purpose 25% larger because the original Mayflower ship was so tiny, today's people couldn't fit into it. Now, when we went into the copy of the Mayflower ship, which was 25% larger, we still had to crouch to get inside underneath the, uh, the deck. We still had to crouch, you know, almost bent at our waist because that's how short the people were. When I saw um, the ancient relics of a saint, uh, Saint Luke, uh, Osius Luke of, uh, Northern, of uh, Northern Greece, he, was, he wasn't even four feet tall. He was not even four feet tall. I mean, people were very short at that time. Obviously, they didn't have that much food as we have today. Obviously, you can, you can understand. So a person six or seven feet tall would have been a giant to these people. Ancient Egyptian kings were likely better fed and in better health than commoners of the era, so they could be expected to grow taller than average. Still, over six foot tall remains, the scientists analyzed would have towered over Ramesses II, the tallest recorded ancient Egyptian pharaoh, who lived more than a thousand years after Sanakt and was only about five foot nine inches tall, Habich said. In a new study, Habich and his colleagues reanalyzed the alleged skull and bones of Sanat, and according to them, the skeleton's long bones showed evidence of exuberant growth, which are clear signs of gigantism. These findings suggest that this ancient Egyptian probably, probably had gigantism, making him the oldest known case of this disorder in the world. The researcher said, no other ancient Egyptian royals were known to be giants. Habat stated that it's important to study how diseases have evolved over time for the field of medicine today. During the early dynasties of Egypt, it seems that people with short, short heights were favored and there were many of them in royal positions. However, the reasons behind this preference are not certain. In fact, the, that the fact that Sanakt was buried with honors in an elite Mastaba tomb after reaching adulthood suggests that gigantism at the time was probably not associated with social margination, the researcher said. 
The scientists detailed their findings August 2017 issue of journal The Lancet Diabetes and Endocrinology. Obviously, the uh, pituitary gland has to do with, uh, with our glands, endocrinology. This is on MRU. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.